Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel. You're watching Uncle Roundy Cracks a Pack. We're back to Kaldheim today. We're in a bit of a weird space. Uh, a rare bit of downtime for modern magic. Uh, we're about two weeks out from Strixhaven. I'm really pumped about that. But uh, just a few weeks before a new set comes out, there's uh, not much going on. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go back and uh, visit good old Boringheim for a second. See if we can uh, see if we can get a, a a few at maybe a good card or two in the twilight of this set's run. Uh, I want to say first before we open this, video games should be resuming soon, maybe as early as tomorrow. I wanted to play a game on the Switch, but my headset was not playing nice with my capture device, and, uh, but I risk, I want to do this game all the same. I really want to do this, so we, uh, we may resort to some good old-fashioned, uh, trickery to make it work. All right, so here we go. We are going back to Kaldheim, going back to, uh, Mr., Mr. Leaf Giant here with a, with a curtain of, curtain of stuff, leaves, over his over his shoulders the deer seem to be watching in the background this card is a uh, Savella ice shaper I should have known I've seen that card enough times already uh, in actual card form not just our card form we've got here a Plains Island and Azorius Snowland the glacial flood plain which has entered the battlefield tapped we got uh, bind the monster here we got a we got a blue theme in this set booster we're going to be binding the monster. And what other blue things are we going to be doing in this set? We're going to be making Disdainful Strokes, which is, a, I believe that's a Guilds of Ravnica reprint. Uh, so that should be that should be just bulk for me. Scorn Effigy. That's not blue. That's colorless. That's a Scarecrow. You can foretell him for zero. Incredible. That's a, a free foretelling. You pay two and then you cast it later for nothing nothing behold behold the multiverse behold all those all those lovely shards that nico eris has control over we got the doom scar titan here that's also not a red card that is certainly but it seems like it seems like the theme actually is foretelling uh it is it has gotten to the point they don't just put a certain number of uh commons and uncommons in there they they're starting to i realize do something thematic with the first six cards of the set booster. So we have here the Doom Scar. So we've got a bunch of four tell cards going here, and just a bunch of them happen to be blue. All right, here we've got Cardur, Doom Scourge, a legendary demon berserker. Red, black, plus two, a four, three legendary demon berserker. Uh, he, he may be of commander interest. Let's see. When Cardur, Doom Scourge, enters the battlefield until your next turn, Creatures your opponents control attack each combat if able and attack a player other than you if able. So that's kind of like without without saying in so many words, it's basically a, he, when he enters the battlefield, you basically goad everybody. Goad is a keyword that basically makes people uh, makes players do that exact sort of thing. Whenever an attacking creature dies, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. We got Draugr's Dra Helm here, a black artifact, black plus one. When Draugr's Helm enters the battlefield, you may pay black plus two. If you do, create a 2-2 black zombie berserker creature token, and then attach Draugr's Helm to it. Equip creature gets plus two, plus two, and has menace. Rawr. Equip for four manually. Uh, so let's see. When you... When you... When it enters the battlefield, you can pay a total of five mana to put it onto a 2-2 black zombie berserker token. Or you can just equip it manually for four. Seems like you'd want to equip it manually to something a little better than a token. We're coming up on another uncommon, a an uncommon land, the Immersturm Skullcairn. Uh, these lands, these uncommon lands in this set... Uh, not very good. Their their big cost at the bottom there doesn't usually do something super great. Uh, yeah, at sorcery speed, deal three damage to a player and they discard something for like four mana and tap and sacrifice it. That seems a bit seems a bit. Uh, whoa, -hoo -hoo! hey, hello, how are you, Coma? Coma Cosmos Servant. We got a showcase mythic here today. Hey, <laughs> all right, blue blue. Green, green, plus three, 
a 6-6 Legendary Serpent. This spell can't be countered. That alone, a, a green spell, uh, a Simic creature, in fact. That's the green-blue guild, for those of you unaware. Uh, he can't, And uh, not being able to be countered uh, already makes me think there's something good going on here. Uh, at the beginning of each up upkeep, you create a 3-3 blue serpent creature token named Coma's Coil, which I believe we've pulled out of a pack before. Sacrifice another serpent. Choose one. So we got serpent tribal going here. Sacrifice another serpent. You choose one. Tap target permanent. It's our activated abilities. Can't be activated this turn. Or Coma gains indestructible until end of turn. <laughs> wow. All right. Uh, we might have actually hit a pretty decent Kaldheim pack for a change. Let's see what's right behind it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down there. I saw that. That's another mythic. Two mythics in one pack. But what is this first? It's uh, Inga Runeyes. It's a legendary human wizard. I don't care. What do we got? We got a foil. Foil mythic. Essica, god of the tree, which I've already got one of these. But I sure as heck don't have it in foil. Foil mythic, baby. All right. Yeah, I, I actually got interested in putting together... An Essica God of the Tree deck, but it turns out uh, an Essica Super Friends deck is uh, quite an expensive proposition. So two Mythics in one pack. I think we're going to go ahead and uh, I think we're going to give that a little bit of a sound effect praise here today. I uh, uh, my reaction I think merits two Mythics, one of them a showcase, and one of them foil. Uh, let's see what happens here. Where is it? Where is it? Where's my good sound? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Indeed. Literally, oh my god. That's a that's a god right there. And it does have another side to it as well. Yeah. Ooh. Gorgeous. Uh, Aurora Borealis. At this time of day, at this time of year, localized entirely within my magic card. Uh, yes. Uh... May you see it? Yes. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. I love a good steamed ham and I love getting two mythics in one pack. That is outstanding. Wow. Good pulls today in Kaldheim. I'm a, uh, I'm quite impressed. I, I'm going to, I'm going to say we, uh, I'm going to say we made ourselves a little profit today. Uh, a little, a little tidy sum between these two cards. I'm sure Essica, between a between a serpent and a god. I'm sure we did. Uh, I'm sure we acquitted ourselves quite well today. I'll see you guys uh, next time. Well, I'm. I mean, I'm still pretty excited for Strixhaven, but uh, <laughs> um, um, now as we are leaving Kaldheim, I'm starting to get excited about Kaldheim. Right as we're not going to be caring about it anymore, but. Wow, we, what a day, what a day.